I am Theodore Walker, Assistant Professor of Ethics and Society at the Perkins School of Theology at Southern Methodist University in Dallas, Texas. And on this occasion, I'd like to offer you a few words concerning the African-American conception of God and the way in which that is constructively related to the process conception of God. Aside from my professional credentials, existentially, I am best identified as an African Baptist, or more specifically a missionary Baptist, who has strong ties with the African Methodist Church as well on my mother's side of the family. And therefore, when I speak of the African American conception of God, I understand myself to be speaking of a conception that is common in both African Baptist and African Methodist churches. And briefly put, this conception of God, the conception of God that is common among African Americans, is a conception which has been summarized by James Cohen and others as the conception of God as being God of the oppressed. When African Americans speak of God as being God of the oppressed, by that we mean to indicate that God is the all-inclusive being who is related to all of us in such a way that God literally experiences our every experience. And therefore we affirm that God experiences our pains, our sufferings, our trials, and our tribulations, as well as our joys and our pleasures. And therefore, in African American congregations, we believe that God shares the mourner's bench with us when we are, are depressed or bereaved, and that God participates in our rejoicings when we celebrate. Now, Existentially, as African Americans, we also have come to realize that the experience of suffering and oppression entails a desire to be liberated from that oppression. Therefore, when we maintain that God experiences our suffering and oppression, we also maintain that God desires our liberation from suffering and oppression. So, in a nutshell, this is the African-American conception of who God is and how God is related to us. Now, this conception of God that is normative among African-Americans is very much different from the traditional conceptions of God which are operative in um, uh, most of the Western scholarly academy. For example, God is usually conceived of as being an unmoved mover or a remote, transcendent, holy, other, impassable, immutable being who is above it all or who controls the world from above. And this traditional academic conception of God is very much different from the way in which God is conceived in African American congregations. However, I have come to find that there is uh, uh, one conception of God which is very much consistent with the tradition out of which I come, and that is the conception of God which is common to process theology. The Theology which issues from the philosophy of Alfred North Whitehead and Charles Hartshorn and other process theologies is very much consistent with the African American understanding of God. Process theology uh, emphasizes the imminence of God, uh, God's ability to experience uh, the experience of creatures, God's ability to be affected by what is happening in the world. And this conception of God is the one philosophical conception in the Western Academy, which is, in fact, most consistent with the conception of God, which is indigenous to African-American religion. 
And therefore, when African Americans who conceive of God as God of the oppressed, as one who suffers our pains and who rejoices in our joys, when we think of God this way, when we look uh, to Western academic philosophy, the one form of philosophy that we find uh, to be most consistent with our understanding of God is that which issues from the philosophy of Alfred North Whitehead. And therefore, it is easy for me as an African Baptist or an African Methodist to be conversant with process theology. In fact, uh, it is process theology and the categories uh, uh, of process theology which are the categories that I find most useful in talking about God to members of, of uh, the white philosophical and academic tradition. Process theology provides a common language in which I, as an African American, am able to express our understanding of God in a way that is understandable to members of the Western academic tradition.